Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 671. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College of Tech link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 661 to 671. All of these videos in this workbook, all these examples are about the aggregate function and this is the last video we've done. Uh, 10 videos already just on this aggregate function. There's a bunch of notes at the front of the workbook. This last example is our finale. It's a big, huge array formula. Now, the aggregate function can handle arrays. It's in the class of some product. Look up. Um, index all that can handle arrays. Now our goal in this one, last one, and you should go watch that one if you're not familiar with extracting uh, records with a single criteria. This one's going to involve two criteria. So I just want to be able to select Galt and whatever year I want and have all of the records extract perfectly. Alright, control shift down arrow. In our last video I compared the array formulas we've done in the past that required control shift enter. Um, and then we compared them to aggregate. I'm skipping to the chase. Go back and watch that one if you want to see that. We're just going to jump right into our formula equals if and our rows. We need to turn on and off the formula in essence when it get, gets past a certain number of records. So for Galt 2009 it's 13. So we use our formula incrementer E dollar sign 5 colon E5 whenever that's greater than this count here and hit F4. What do we want? We want a blank. Otherwise, index. Now, as soon as this gets past row 13, then uh, the blank will start showing. But our value, if false, is our index, which will show before row uh, 13 and before. Now, we're extracting one, two, three columns of data. So I'm going to highlight this first column, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 twice, dollar sign only in front of the row reference but not the column. That way when we copy it this way the whole column will move. Comma. The whole crux of this uh, and the last video is how do you get a row number because we're, we're asking. We in essence have two lookup criteria but we're going to return multiple items, right? There's, a, I don't see any of the GALTs. There's a, a GALT 2010 GALT 2010, so we're returning lots of records. So that's why for the row number, as we copy the formula down, we need, we need different row numbers. We need like row number 30, row number 35, or whatever it may be. So instead of using our normal small if construct, which creates an array inside the if function and requires control shift enter, we're going to use our new aggregate function. Now aggregate's great because it has a small. We select the first argument function, we select 15, that'll be our small. Aggregate's great because it doesn't require control shift enter. Now in our array right here that we create with, with our two criteria, we're going to have error values. We're going to have divide by zero. So we need to select as option our second argument, number six. That says ignore errors, comma. Now as we've seen, this is the fifth array aggregate video we've done, instead of like the if function where you put the criteria first then the numbers, with aggregate we're going to use division so we're going to put the numbers first. Now the numbers we need are row. So I'm going to highlight this column, control shift down arrow, F4, row, that'll give us 2, 3, 4. We don't want that so we subtract row of this. That'll give us an F4, that'll give us 2 minus 2 is zero, so we add back one. Now that's the number. If you highlight that, it just gives us, and hit F9 in the control Z, it just gives us our row numbers. Now we need to, uh, in essence, isolate the row numbers just for GALT 2009. So we're going to divide, and we're going to use open parentheses. Now we have two criteria here. So we're going to have to include them both and use multiplication in parentheses. We'll do the easy one first, GALT. So I say this column, F4, to lock it when that's equal to GALT. F4. Close parentheses. Now that's a series of um, trues and falses and we need to we have two criteria, so we're multiplying. 
we're going to have two series of trues and falses. Only when there's a true times a true do we want it to be true. So we'll do multiplication, which means and. We have and criteria. Both must be true. Now what are we going to do about this? We have serial numbers here and year here. No problem. We use the year function. We say the year of this. The year, the year function just looks at each one of these serial dates and gives us the year. Control shift down arrow F4. And then we need to say when that any this is an array, F9, control Z, anytime that's equal to this. And I'm going to hit F4. I hope I hit F4 all the way through. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to close parentheses on that. This multiplying here will give us a series of trues times trues, or the only ones that will come out one. So I'm going to hit F9. And we have ones and zeros, control Z. Now, I need to close parentheses because I need to enclose all of those trues and falses. Now when we do our numbers and our two criteria using multiplication, I hit F9, we get all our divide by zero, divide by zero errors, which the aggregate can ignore. We have our 60 row, our 53, our 50, just what we want, control Z. That 6 is what's going to tell us to ignore it. That's our array, comma, and then the K. The K is our formula incrementer, because as we copy down, we want the first smallest row, the second smallest, etc. That's our K. So we close off the aggregate. And now we're back to row number, which we just put in. The aggregate is delivering, just like the, su the small and if would do it if we were using that option. We already have a value of false. That's the index, close parentheses. We have our formula. And watch this, Enter. I didn't hit Control, Shift, Enter. I don't see any curly brackets. If you come over here and download this, you can compare. There's the curly brackets. There's what we used to do. So if you're watching this video and you're saying, hey, I'm getting intrigued by this aggregate to start doing some of this array stuff we like to do, uh, criteria with the if comes first, and then the numbers. When you're using this division and this aggregate, the numbers came first and then we divided by the criteria. Now let's copy this over. We've got to test it. I'm pointing to fill without formatting. I'm going to drag it down. OK, let's test it. I'll just make those really small so we can see side by side everything working. All right, I'm going to change it to Smith. Look at that, they both work. 2010, totally amazing. I love this new, this new aggregate. Aggregate replaces, um, can replace uh, the small and if and doesn't require control shift enter. All right, so that was 11 videos about aggregate function 2010. All right, we'll see you next trick.